What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. I want to make a quick video for y'all today showing you some important things you need to know about your Sundown Audio Salt Series amplifier. Uh, so some of the stuff seems like it might be common sense, but I've already seen a lot of questions about them. So let's make a video and just talk about the things. Mainly it's going to be some of the little accessories that come with your amp. One of the big ones being the remote knob that's going to be in this little cardboard box here. Uh, we've showed these off a lot, but it's real simple, remote knob, you got your, your, your control for the gain. Uh, this thing does voltage and temperature selectable by a switch. Now the uh, cable that comes with it is not a standard cable like come with any previous sound on amplifiers. This is a bigger Cat5 cable, but it's real simple to hook up. You just plug it into your remote and plug it into your amp right here on the end. There's only one port that can accept it. Now we'll come back to this in a second and show you how it works. The next thing that uh, I, I guess this confused some people is this little wire. So it includes instructions. It's in the little baggie with, we'll also go over these, your extra set screws. So all your salt amplifiers come with Phillips head set screws like, like normal. We like those in all, the, in all the sundown amps. But it also includes... The other hex style, I'm gonna pull one of these out and show you. So, hex style set screws. Some people like those, they like them more than the Phillips. If you do, cool. We included those with all your sun, your, all your sundown salt amplifiers. You get a free set of hex style Allen screws as well. Now, back to this. So, this little thing here, here's the instructions for it. Pretty simple. We'll go over what it is. Uh, status connection. Basically, there's a plug. Uh, there's a port right here, and it's right next to the status lights of your Salt Series amplifiers. So they're going to show you power, protect, and clipping. Now, come back up here for a second. If you need remote clipping indicator, that is right here on your remote knob that already has its own wire, tells you all that stuff. But if you have to do something kind of trick in your setup and you want to run some remote LEDs, that means put LEDs elsewhere to show you power and protect lights for your amplifier, that's what this is for. So you simply take it, plug it in right here, click, we're good. And then two of these wires are going to be for the power LED, two of these are for the um, protect LED. Which ones are which? It's right here on these instructions and it's real simple. You see power positive, power negative, protect negative, protect positive, shows you what color is what. So all you do is so where power positive is yellow, power negative is green. I know these are the two wires. All right, real important, the output is 12 volts. So whatever LEDs you get, you want to connect here, run a 12 volt LED, something that works in that range. Now I ran back real quick. And in my, uh, my SPL build back there, Project SPL, I've got a bunch of LEDs I'm working on re retrofitting in there. This is just a simple uh, 110 style bulb. It works off 12 volts. All right, so yellow is our power. So I'm gonna take it, I'm gonna hook it up right here. And this is gonna be a little temporary connection. Get it in here. Green is uh, the negative. So I'm hooked this up to my black negative wire. There we go, a little temporary connection. And so now as I cut my amplifier on, activate my remote. Uh -oh, let me sure my connection's good. And bam, it works. So power light on, off. On, see how easy that is? Now same thing. I'm showing you the power works. If you want to have your remote for the clip light and know when the clip light comes on, you just do the same thing with your other wires here, your purple and your gray, run them off. That's going to be the power in the ground of that LED. You can set these up anywhere. Set them in your dash, a podium, however you want to do it. Now, while we got the amp on, we can show you some of the other cool stuff. So we got a remote. 
basic stuff. You got the nice smooth roll, all that. You got your power light, protect light, clip light, all right here. Voltage. This is one of the new cool features we got. Shows you the voltage there. We're at 14.9 volts right now, chilling on the test bench. Obviously, we run a 14 volt setup here on the test bench. You can also click that little button over and it goes to your temperature in Fahrenheit. That's what the little F there means. And uh, 72 degrees. So it shows you the temperature. Nice, good 72 degree temperature here right now. Oh, 70 degrees. I've been, been touching around the sand. But uh, that's it. Pretty simple. Plug and play stuff. But if you have any questions about this plug, what it does, the instructions are with it. If for some reason you don't get the instructions with yours or you bought one used, it's not in there. You can find right here in this video which wire does what to do that. There they are. Pause it on the screen. Remember that. And um, I guess that's it. Quick video for the day. So hopefully that answers all the basic questions you might have about some of the accessories, some of the new stuff, the, the little tricks we've done to the new Salt Series amps. But remember, like, subscribe. Cool. That's it.